Hi, my name is Jamie Schmotzer. I'm an instructor with the Old World Alliance. Today, I'm going to show you probably the fire kit that I use the most often. Okay, so this pouch I got from MCQ Bushcraft. If uh, you're not familiar with his channel, please check it out. It's very, very good. A big fan of Mike at MCQ Bushcraft. A lot of y'all have seen these style pouches. I'm a big fan for a particular reason. I'll show you right now. See that? This beautiful stuff in here. What I do is when I'm breaking up tulip poplar or cedar or whatever I'll do it over this so I'll spread this out as much as it'll go and I'll do my processing over this and what happens is it collects way on the bottom I don't know if you could see that all of that fine dust that is the good stuff right there. So, I mean, it's a cool bag anyway, but that's what I like it. Process up my stuff, all that dust falls in here. When I've got my tinder bundle, I can grab some of this super fine stuff. All right, so that's, that's the bag. In here, I've got like I said, probably I use this more than any other fire kit, but this is my flint and steel kit. So I've got my flint and steel kit here. I've got some English flint. I got this from Mark and Helen at Beaver Bushcraft in the UK, along with some other, uh, some other pieces. This here is the real striker. I got this in the December Apaca box by Creek Stewart. This was uh, designed by Old World Alliance co-founder Jamie Burley. And this thing really, really chucks sparks. Big fan of that. See, it's got a bow drill divot here. And these curls are so that you can wrap fishing line around it. And if you attach the striker to a pole, right, you just lash it on here in there lash that onto a pole put fishing line around here and you've got a little uh, fishing reel that's why it's called the reel striker but this thing really does chuck some good sparks then i've got this one here um, this is probably my oldest striker i got this from a guy uh, i don't remember his name but his website is at history's door if you do a google search at history's door um, i got a nice primitive kit and this is the striker that came with that here i've got some sandpaper i, I had it originally glued on the inside of this lid or taped or whatever so that if i needed uh, to strike matches with it I'd have that, but uh, it's since come off. But not a bad idea to have some uh, to have some sandpaper anyway. This striker, I, you know what? I'm not even sure where I got this. I think I got it from some uh, some guy on Etsy. Uh, it's a little bigger than that first one that I got. I'm not sure uh, which one I like better yet. But anyway, so evidently I've got three strikers in there. This little Altoids tin is where I keep my char cloth. Some more flint. And some more flint. It's got a real sharp edge on it. Now this stuff is gold. I'll make sure it doesn't fly away. This stuff here, it looks kind of like uh, cattail fluff, but actually it's called kapok, K-A-P-O-K. Um, it doesn't grow in my area whatsoever, 
I got this also from Mark and Helen at Beaver Bushcraft. And uh, it's got hollow fibers, sort of like wool does. So there's um, oxygen on the outside, obviously, but also because it's hollow, uh, oxygen can get on the inside. And the stuff is so volatile. It is crazy. So I got some of that in there. More for show and tell than anything else. I've got some jute which uh, is good for making uh, tinder bundles. So I've got some of that. Then I've got, right, just little matchsticks of, uh, you know, fatwood, right? I've got a whole bunch of those in here, just little matchsticks of fatwood, which uh, I think is pretty cool. Now I've also got in here with kapok all over it. I've got uh, a pouch with a magnifying glass, and I've also got this cotton cord, which I can use. I can char the end of it and uh, use it like a tinder tube. If you've ever seen those. So by far, this is the kit that I use the most. Um, I like it. I prefer lighting fires with flint and steel. I think there's a lot of reasons um, why I like to use uh, flint and steel so much. One is that, um, you know, God forbid you've ever actually in a situation where you need to make a bow drill fire. But if that situation arises where you need to be able to make a bow drill fire, you know, flint and steel basically you know, teaches you half of your bow drill, right? Once you've got a coal with a bow drill, what do you need to do with that coal? Well, you need to learn how to you know, process a bird's nest. You need to know how to you know, blow that into flames and have experience doing it because if you've got to use a bow drill, you don't want to screw up going from that ember to flames. And so your flint and steel actually helps you practice uh, using a bird's nest to blow that into flames without actually needing to use a bow drill at all. So if you need to use a bow drill and you're well versed with using your flint and steel, you're going to feel pretty confident knowing what to do with that ember. Also, it's just fun. It's just fun. Plus, I do Civil War reenacting, and so, um, you know, in the Civil War, they had matches called Lucifers, but some of the old-timers still used, you know, flint and steel. Uh, more back in the Mountain Man era and all that is what they were doing, but by the Civil War, they had matches. Um, but, you know what? Matches aren't always reliable either, so it's still good to have a backup. Anyway, this is the kit that I use the most, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, what is your favorite striker? If you've got a favorite steel striker, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video at all, please uh, hit that like button, uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, what's your favorite kind of you know, flint? Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter so long as it works. Uh, but I am curious what your favorite striker is. Uh, as far as just throwing sparks, to me, the Jamie Burley's real striker does the best. Um, but, you know, I, uh, yeah, curious what you all think about that. And uh, what do you think about using a pouch like this? to catch all of that dust. I, th I think it's a real good use of a pouch like that. So anyway, until next time.